Another workday begins at TerraCycle in Trenton, New Jersey. The staff, mostly young and attractive, is committed to the main business here, innovative recycling. But then there's the side business. Is there sex in the office? Not right now. <laughs> At TerraCycle, business and pleasure absolutely mixed. Do you see open flirting, like we just just like on a day-to-day -day basis? Everyone's friendly. Friendly and over-friendly? You could get a little bit of both. It would be hard to tell where exactly the line is. I mean, I wouldn't care if I, you know, touched, hugged anyone at any time. There's no boundaries, really. Have no, cover me. no boundaries for sure. There's so much inner office action, this place needs a hookup flowchart. Just recently, someone on the executive team dated someone in the graphics department. Another person dated someone in accounts management. Meantime, another accounts person dated someone in graphics. Yet a third person dated the office manager. Meantime, someone in product design was dating an intern. It's obvious. Sex at work, or, or the romance at work happens. TerraCycle founder and CEO Tom Zaki has one golden rule on office trysts. You can hook up with each other if you well, want. Yes, Be exactly. respectful of others, but there are no written guidelines. You just can't create policies for these things. When he started TerraCycle out of his dorm room 10 years ago, there were wild parties at the so-called intern house. It led to two known pregnancies. Check out the body painting. Today, as the company has matured, things may be somewhat tamer. But legends still abound. It's well known that this conference table has supported a lot more than fourth quarter estimates. Stacey, you were talking earlier about your friend. <laughs> Someone I know had sex in the office. Someone you know really well. Somebody I know kind of well. What did your friend say it was like? Was there something extra fun about it? It was just kind of an opportunity that arose and... Excuse the pun. They'd, being, the passionate, <laughs> being the passionate person that she is. My friend took advantage of it. Is it okay to have sex in the building? <laughs> That's a great question. Is it okay to have sex in the building? Well, seriously, Zaki says sex during business hours would be a no-no, which may be why no one has ever been caught on this office security camera. But we found countless examples online of offices where couples supposedly were. Security cam sex, people on the move, on the job. You really want this position, don't you? Sex at work is such a fantasy, there are plenty of porn sites exactly devoted to it. But workplace romance need not be sorted. It can be sweet. And maybe nowhere does it fly higher than its Southwest Airlines. They don't call themselves the Love Airline for nothing. There are more than 1,200 married couples who both work here. Their pictures hang proudly in the company's Dallas headquarters. We are, we are a love, love couple. <laughs> One is Colleen and Kevin Russell. She's in finance, he's in cargo. Together, they're in love. I did something I've never done before. I asked him out um, over an email. And I sat at my desk holding my hand over the mouse, just thinking, can I do this? Can I do this? Is this OK? It was more than OK. Eight months later, they were married. Southwest is totally supportive of the love couples as long as the pair work in different departments and neither manages the other. Thankfully, we're at a company where it is OK to fall in love with who, you know, who you fall in love with. But whether it's for a long time or just a good time, there are rules for office romance. If your career is important to you at that organization, then you have to think about how that might be impacted. Caitlin Friedman has written several guidebooks for women in the workplace. Like, really? Her top three like do's and don'ts. Like Number one, do take it seriously. Workplace romance can have consequences for your reputation. It makes people uncomfortable. Even if they say they're okay with it, they're not. So number two, don't have public displays of affection. Trust me, nobody wants to see it. Friedman says keeping the relationship quiet just makes you more professional, which leads to number three, don't travel for business together. It can lead to troubling questions. Was this really business? Was exactly. this pleasure? You just don't want to go there. And that's all when the relationship is going well. 50% of marriages don't last, and dating couples split way more than that. And if life in cube land sitting beside a bitter ex isn't bad enough, that's nothing compared to a sexual harassment suit. Just ask Dove Charney, the CEO of clothing giant American Apparel and a notorious workplace Lothario. You've had relations with some of the people who work for you. 
Look, I, isn't I'm not that inappropriate? On my well, 57 percent of Americans meet their spouse at work, and uh, it's perfectly normal and natural uh, that 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 love can take place within the context of the workplace. Charney sounds a bit like an older version of Tara Cycles' Tom Zaki. The difference is he's rich enough for people to try to sue his pants off. This past spring, Charney was interviewed on Nightline after one of several lawsuits against him was settled out of court. Other cases are pending, though no allegations have been proven in court. All of those accusations are, are baseless and meritless. And what has happened, you know, high-profile uh, people such as myself are often in the firing line of that kind of stuff. There are 14,000 sex harassment suits filed annually in the U.S. And in fact, back at Terra Cycle, Tom Zaki says he's already been named in one of them. On top of that, he says he was once harassed himself by a customer who wanted more than his business. I've experienced all aspects of this personally. But overall, he remains optimistic. He's seen many more good romances than bad and still thinks when Cupid visits TerraCycle, it's good for everyone. Happy employees mean a better work product, basically, at the end. I think happy employees equal higher profitability. And isn't that what every CEO is in the business of?